Hey guys, so you asked, I delivered. I got my hands on the Blends palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. It is 30 matte shadows. It's a rainbow palette. I've already used it once already to be 100% truthful, but I am going to be doing another look with it. Let me know at the end of this video if you want a three look from palette because we can do that. So it retails for $35 US. It is cruelty free and vegan, which is nice. And yeah, I've been hearing a lot of really good reviews on it. Personally, I really liked it when I used it for my Made by Mitchell look the other day. So yeah, where are you going with my Catrice Eye Foundation Primer? I'm just gonna slap that on the eyes. If you don't know, over on TikTok, I'm doing a series of finding a P. Louise dupe. And I tried this one first and I already think I found one dupe at least. I'm super impressed with this eye base. I think I am gonna do I'm thinking purples and either blue or pink, but I gotta I gotta touch the purples. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna start with the shade Bewitched, which is a deep matte purple. Make sure there's no creases in my face, and I'm just gonna tap that on. Woo! I'm very impressed with the pigment in this palette. And even though this isn't a first impressions, when I first used it, I was super impressed with how like pigmented and blendable everything was, so. Let's see if this one works just as well. Cause I know purples can be a little bit harder to formulate than most colors. Then I'm just taking a pointed brush to kind of wing it out. Boom, we're all winged out. I also got some colored rain brushes. Like, look how pretty these are. Yeah. So I'm using this itty bitty baby one. And I'm gonna dip into the lighter purple signs. And we're gonna use that to blend everything out. My shifts also went up at work, which I mean, I'm happy for, cause like, no money, but like, I, I'm kind of sad about because I kind of like having quite a few days off. It allows me to really balance like work and and this basically. Oh fuck me. I already dented a fucking shadow. But like now that I'm going back for more hours, it's, I just got really burnt out doing that. So it's like a choice, do I earn money or do I take the pay cut and do this? I don't know. But 
but for now, I'm just gonna blend my shadow. I am finding a little bit of difficulty with that purple, but I'm just gonna keep blending because purples are hard to work with, hard to formulate, all that jazz. I'm going to take my tiny Mama Michel brush with that Be Witch shade and try and just use that to blend into that lighter purple. Sometimes just a little back and forth is needed. Okay, so I did struggle to blend that out a bit, but purples can be a little difficult, so let's just see how the rest of it goes. But I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to take it into Giggle, which is the lightest purple here. And I'm just going to use that to blend the edges out. Okay, so behind the scenes, I just kind of went in with another layer of each color to improve the blend. And I think I did. I think it looks good. So, we are going to cut the crease. So my furnace was being really loud, but we're going into that light blue shade and we're just going to pack it over the cut crease. And yeah, we're just going to speed through this. And then we're just taking previous shades and we're going to use it to blend into the blue so it doesn't have such a harsh line. I found that I really liked the look better when I did this because at first I wasn't feeling it. Then we blended it into the purple and well... You'll see, I started to feel myself a little bit more. Okay, I just turned that part, like the sound on that part down because my friend has kicked it. But this is the shadow work without lashes. I'm going to put my face on, I'll come back when I'm all done, and I'll show you guys the finished look. So review-wise, the only shadow I really struggled with was Bewitched. Um, I've played with all of these over here in my Mondays by Mitchell look, but everything else really packed on, blended beautifully, um, except that be witch shade for me, but I would like to try a few other techniques because, um, sometimes with matte deep purples like this, they just need to be worked with a little. But at the end, we got to a really good result. I really like how this look looks. I'm quite impressed with these shadows. I was really impressed. I was really impressed with these red shades over here. They blended beautifully. They were some of the best reds I've played with. Uh, so besides that deep matte purple, everything else worked beautifully for me. It's only $39. I don't think is a bad price for... 30 pans, a good formula, you know? Um, so if it's in your budget, if it's something that you want, remember we don't have to buy everything. Um, I would recommend it personally. But yeah, if you guys want three looks, one pat with it, let me know. We can do that, we can go through it. Uh, then you guys can also get a more in-depth review. But this will be in my review roundup, so you'll see it again regardless. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys want that. Have a good day. Peace out.